Hello everyone, in case you all didn't know, of course I've recently moved. Well, by moved, I mean I bought a house. For those of you who haven't yet seen the house, this video is for you. Now, of course, a lot of you have seen this house, and a lot of you probably will see this house. This is for you people who live far away, or for, like, you people who I'm, like, friends with, but, like, we never really see each other, and we probably never will see each other. You'll probably never see this. You know who you are. You know who I'm talking about. So, we have the fantastic front lawn with a view. Nice couple of shrubs, as you can see. ton of grass, as you can see. Lots of weeds in the grass also and some dirt with a hole fancy that don't even have to dig my own holes next up we have the fabulous single door garage which by the way does not have an automatic door on the front of it which means that every time I want to park my car in there I have to go in there and manually open the door like I'm some sort of medieval peasant opening up the gate for his king but you know <sighs> that's a problem for another time so and it's currently locked, so fuck it, you don't need to see in there. Front door. I'm told most houses come equipped with these. Also locked. Shit. So I managed to find my way inside the house, fortunately enough. So as soon as you come in here, you end up in this little tiny ass room thing. Not really sure what you call this. Apparently it's called an entrance way. But in the meantime, I'll just call it the temporary rubbish room because this is where we're storing all the shit that we don't need from packing as you can probably see. So, moving on. So, this is our lounge. Decent sized. Comes equipped with windows. Um, also came free with a small child who likes to make a mess. There was a fireplace there, but as you can see, we've already sort of boarded that up, getting rid of it. Who needs a fireplace when you have a heat pump? Through here you have the kitchen, which is currently in a bit of, bit of a state. I mean, that's part of moving, isn't it? Doesn't help when you have a small child running around who likes to get into everything. The feature I'm most excited about is a dishwasher. Never again will I have to stand over a sink and wash dishes, unless of course they don't go in the dishwasher because they're wooden or they're not heat proof. Or Through here we have this other random room that sort of like connects all the other rooms. I'm told this is called a hallway. Not sure if you can really see here, but it's a jacket thing, cupboard thing. It's probably supposed to be in the entranceway, but you know, whatever, I didn't design the place. Linen cupboard. Toilet. Bathroom. Bedroom number one. Equipped with a built-in wardrobe. Bedroom number two. Equipped with a built-in wardrobe. And now, for the last room of the house. And here, we have the laundry. Which is unlocked. God, Daniel. And out here, we have the fabulous backyard. 100% greatest view you've ever seen from a backyard hands down <sighs> but in all seriousness this is like an old school water tank as you can see it's right in the way of where I'd one day like to have a deck but that's alright I'm sure I can deal with it another time from our fabulous backyard you have this gate here which means that you can park vehicles up into your backyard if you're one of these weird people that has vehicles parked in their backyard You've also got a washing line, which, you know, you can put your washing on to dry if it's wet. That's quite handy to have. There is a double shed. Double shed? A big shed? 
a shed that's like double size, the size of it. Regardless of what you might call it, I like to call it a man-sized, man-sized spider trap. <clears throat> Decent sized yard. All fully fenced, fired with this weird sort of chicken coop, chicken wire run sort of thing. Not really sure what it is to be honest, but you know, one day we might put chickens in there because you know, eggs. Right, so one thing I forgot to film when I was actually... <laughs> when I was recording the original house tour, I actually forgot to mention that there is a third bedroom in this house as well. Um, it also came equipped with a built-in wardrobe, if you're wondering. We've done quite a lot to the house already. We've painted, we've carpeted. I'm looking forward to showing you guys. So I'll record another video soon and that way give you another house tour. Maybe a proper house tour. I don't know. Maybe the house will actually be clean this time. Um, just um, like to apologise for that mess. I mean, of course, we didn't like... We didn't figure it out whether recycling was a thing or about council rubbish bags or when the rubbish day was or any of that shit. So the house was definitely in a bit of a tip. Um, probably should have cleaned before I filmed, but that's alright. But anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.